Hi guys, my name is Zena and welcome to my YouTube channel. It is already time for April to the T. If you're new here, I make a new to the T video every single month to recap on some funny or interesting stories that happened that month. I am currently moving out of my dorm. I only have a few clothes right now because I moved out most of my stuff yesterday. I already planned on recording this video today, so I didn't really think about that. Also, it might be the last time you see this tapestry behind me for a while. I am moving to a new location that I've never recorded at. I might bring this tapestry with me to see if I could use it. You'll see what happens. So let's get started with April to the T. Dolly Parton is known as an iconic country singer, but did you also know that Dolly is a television producer? Yeah, most people did not know this, including myself, since she was never once listed in the credits for Buffy the Vampire Slayer. The 1992 movie and the entire TV series has Sandy Gallen listed as producer for each episode. Sandy is Dolly's friend and business partner of the Sand Dollar Entertainment. Although I have never watched the movie or the show, I think it is really interesting that Dolly was a part of it. I may have to watch it now. Dolly Parton and the character Buffy even have the same exact birthday. Chris on Twitter created a thread to show how Hollywood often makes the exact same movie in the same year. I have actually noticed this in the past and I have noticed that some of the same movies have the same exact actors or actresses in it. I really wanted to address this in this month's To The T because I want to know your guys' opinions and if you guys have any movies that you felt the same way about. And I know a lot of movies and a lot of shows will copy off of others, but they will be years apart and that's kind of just what people do. But what makes this different is that it's usually in the same exact year or will kind of be playing at the exact same time. Out of all the movie comparisons, which ones do you think have the exact same concept? And which ones do you think is a reach? Let me know down in the comments. Liam Payne revealed in an Instagram live chat with Swedish DJ Alesso on April 19th that the band One Direction might be getting back together for a special one-time reunion. Fans started talking when the four other members followed Zayn Malik, who left the group in 2015 on Twitter. Zayn Malik is also no longer listed as an ex-member of the group on Google. But Liam Payne was a bit shady by telling the DJ that he should fill in for Zane's position. We've been trying to arrange the first like group FaceTime at the moment. Ooh, oh my God, come the whole world is coming. You can come and fill in for Zane. Oh, wow, wow. The Enjoy the band. The, the band is about to reach the 10 year anniversary when the guys were first put together by Simon Cowell on the X Factor. What do you guys think about this possible reunion? I was actually a huge fan of the group when I was in middle school and I think it's a bit too soon. The group has a lot of growing 
to do by possibly allowing Zayn to be a part of the reunion. I also think it's only happening because they can do it online and they don't have to actually be together. The group should do a official reunion if they can have Zayn be a part of it. Most people have their go-to memes that cheer them up or are just plain hilarious. Most people are well aware of the infamous face of Michael Jordan called Crying Jordan. We all know this masterpiece made in 2009 when the basketball legend was inducted into the NBA Hall of Fame. But the NBA star is back with a new meme. After featuring in the sports documentary miniseries currently airing on Netflix and ESPN called The Last Dance, Jordan addressed the long-standing rivalry with the Detroit Pistons when the team walked off the court without shaking the Bulls' hands after the 1991 Eastern Conference Finals. The documentary shows Jordan's reaction to NBA player Isaiah Thomas defending the walk-off. Some people think this meme is better than the crying Jordan meme. What do you guys think? I honestly was a bit shocked that people thought this meme was better. I was also not a part of this rivalry, so I do not know the extent of the shadiness. But I think Crying Jordan is such an iconic meme that nothing could beat it. Patrick Murphy, a TikTok user, might just remind you to check your food before you eat it. The creator posted four parts on the social media to show the 72 bread ties that he found in the chili he bought from Firehouse Subs and what the company said to him. I, there's no way that, I, that also has to be weeks, months of bread. If it wasn't on purpose, the only thing that I could understand. I saw someone comment that they could have kept the bread ties on the side when they were done opening bread or using bread. But it's like, why would they? And also, how do you accidentally grab the chili bowl with 72 bread ties? Anyways, what do you guys think? What was your favorite story of this month? Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay subscribed. And my air conditioner is about to go off again. Bye guys.